Our session today is about the food web and ecosystem. Let's remember what are the types of consumers. Consumers could be primary or secondary or tertiary consumers. The primary consumers, they eat producers. As you can see here, the primary consumer, which is the grasshopper, eats grass, the producers, and the secondary consumer eats the primary consumer, like the frog here, and the tertiary consumers eat the secondary consumer. So the primary eat producers like insects, rabbits, horses. The secondary consumers, they eat primary consumers like birds, foxes, whales. But what about the tertiary consumers? They are consumers that eat secondary consumers like snakes, lions. There are also another uh, kind of food chain. The one before, this is a land food chain, but this one is a marine food chain, which means that you can find it in oceans and seas. It starts also by producers, which are phytoplankton. They are producers, they can make their own food because they contain the chloroplast, so they can absorb the sunlight and make their own food by photosynthesis process. So the producers would be eaten by zooplankton, small insects, and these zooplankton would be eaten by the fish larva, and the fish larva would be eaten by small fish, and the small fish would be eaten by whale or shark. So the marine food chain means this food chain is in seas or oceans. What is food web? As you can see here, the food web, it contains all the possible food chains in an ecosystem, a network of food chains in an ecosystem. So the food web consists of all the food chains in an ecosystem. It shows you all the possible food for an organism. For example, this fox can eat all of these organisms. But the food chain shows you only one possible food for an organism. So it shows you only that the frog can eat the grasshopper only. But the food web shows you all the possible food for an organism. In general, the food web is a complex diagram, but the food chain is a simple diagram. Both of them shows, uh, show you the flow of energy in an ecosystem, but the food chain is a simple diagram. It shows only one path of the flow of energy, but the food web, it shows you all or the paths of uh, food, uh, of the energy in an ecosystem. So again, what is the meaning of food web? It is the network of food chains, which mean many food chains in an ecosystem can form the food web. 